Hi, I'm Marnie Campbell with the Marnie Campbell Realty Team, and I am here today with Ray um, from Odds on Home Inspections. Thanks for joining me today, Ray. No problem at all. Okay, um, so like most of us, Ray is um, at home and he's not doing home inspections. Um, I guess uh, one of the questions um, that come to my mind are, are home inspections happening right now? Yeah, they are. They're, um, they're, obviously, it's not as busy as it would normally be in this in the spring market, but um, uh, they are coming in. And what I'm finding is that there's a, a lot more people um, either not turning up for the inspections or making sure that they keep their distance. Um, and that's all you can really do, really, is just trying to stay safe out there. Right. So you're still doing the inspections, just obviously following kind of safe protocol and, and that sort of thing, but we're still able to to go ahead and, and do home inspections if someone's buying a home right now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but most of the time uh, it's kind of just myself and I get a one day code and I'm in there, I put my gloves on, my mask on, and I'm working away. Uh, you still get some clients that still want to come, which is completely up to them, it's their time. Uh, all we're doing is just making sure that we're staying um, a safe distance away um, and every client gets the report the same day so they're still going to get that full report fully detailed uh, color photos throughout plus all the thermal photos so uh, a good report that they'll be able to understand easily perfect um, so it got me thinking about you know we're all spending a lot of time at home right now and, uh, you know, I thought, what is it, uh, some tips we could pass on to some homeowners? Uh, maybe things they don't think about, things you see um, on a regular basis that come up when you're doing your home inspections. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of the times uh, people don't think to check items in their homes. Uh, for instance, like maintaining exterior wood, uh, especially when it comes to you're getting your house ready to sell. You want to look after the wood, maintain it because um uh, the wood takes quite a beating with the weather that we get here for sure uh keeping the gutters nice and clear so you can make sure that you're having that good water runoff because you don't want water building up around the property you want it to go, go go away from the home um and just doing simple checks to all available plumbing uh, underneath all the sinks of the bathrooms underneath the kitchen sinks looking for any signs of any leaks anywhere because it's always the homeowner that's the last person to realize there's a leak until I come in, do a home inspection, and then they just can't believe there's a leak. Um, so yeah, it's such a simple thing because you can visually see a lot of the leaks. Uh, obviously, the pipes that are in the walls and the ceilings, yep, you're just going to have to um, uh, uh, wait for that to show through, unfortunately. But the rest of it, you can definitely have a good look and see. Right. And if a, I guess a seller was in the position where they have sold their home right now and they're waiting for a home inspection, what are some things they could do to, to help get ready for it? Um, one of the most common ones that they tend to forget, especially if they're selling and it's falling into the winter uh, time, is uh, winterizing their outside taps and actually disconnecting the hoses. Because uh, even if they winterize and they've still got the hose attached, there's still a lot of water in that hose and the water will expand, it can split the faucet. So that's a big one that we see quite a lot, uh, frozen exterior hose, hose taps. Uh, so it's always a good idea to make sure that they're done. Um, put in a fresh weather strip in, as simple as it sounds, just a, a nice new foam double-sided tape strip around the attic hatch. Uh, mm -hmm. That's always a good one to do uh, because you, again, that's there to help stop warm air escaping to the attic. And they get depleted over time, so it's good to change them out. Um, and then from my personal point of view, uh, allowing access to items of the home that needs to be inspected. I often come up uh, against um, a lot of boxes in front of furnaces and water tanks and uh, electrical panels. So it's always good just to give access uh, so you can get in there and get everything checked kind of I guess home improvements um, in addition to I know that's not really your area but at the same time um, things that you you see maybe in your line of work that maybe you could speak to that um. yeah I mean uh, it's always uh, when you've got this more, more of free time you're at home a lot longer uh, it does allow you to spend the time to 
go around the outside of your house, having a look to see if there's any uh, like split corking or any gaps around windows and doors that could do with maintaining and looking after. Uh, the grade, uh, the grade erodes, you know, when you get that spring rainfall, especially if the downspouts are not down, it will create a bit of a hole by the foundation walls. So you want to maintain the grade. That's always good to keep an eye on that and then maintain that accordingly. Um, keeping the downspouts down as well, especially in the, the springtime when you've got all of that rain. Um, silly little things like changing the furnace filters, that's often forgotten. And they should be changed every two or three months, depending on the size uh, and the type of uh, furnace filters that they have. Um, and also adding salts to their um, water softeners if they've got water softeners that's always one that's forgotten i often find i lift the lid to them and there's just a just a pool of water in the bottom no salt in there uh, and that's just literally a, a simple thing just topping up with a bag ray has done um, a lot of inspections for myself over the years and um, those little things um, unless you're on top of it in diligence it's easy to kind of miss some of that those things. For people who don't know, you mentioned uh, grades around your property. Um, maybe for those who aren't familiar with that term, could you just kind of um, speak more to that? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So the grade around the home, you want a nice slope going away from the home. Older homes were uh, built quite flat. So the lots were quite flat. Uh, nowadays, you'd have uh, roughly six inches over every six foot. So you get a nice slope just to allow for water to run off and run away from the home. So if you see any areas where water could kind of pool or pond around the foundation wall of the property, always good to either regrade or backfill accordingly just to make sure that you keep that water away from the home. Right, so we're not ending up with any kind of water in our basements or or anything like that. Yeah, because water's patient, it'll always find a way. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, and then, uh, you know, you are a master certified home inspector. Um, yep. There's, you know, I see online, there's, there's master certified and then there's just, uh, I guess, a regular certified. Uh, what's the difference between the two? The difference between the two is uh, experience. Uh, to become a master inspector, you have to have over three years of experience and over a thousand home inspections uh, minimum to be able to then apply. So you're, you're gaining all of that experience and knowledge and it's uh, a constant learning curve. So I have to keep uh, refreshing my courses accordingly each year to make sure that I'm staying on top of everything. Um, and also it's, it's great because even now, you still come up against the odd thing that will pop up and you're like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Not come across this before. And you do a bit of research, you look into it. So it's always a learning curve. So you're always going to be learning. And that's the way it should be in anything that you do, really. Otherwise, right. it gets, gets a bit boring. <laughs> yes. Well, I think, you know, you see these terms online and uh, unless you're in the industry yourself, you wouldn't know. So I thought it'd be um, great for you to, to clarify that. Um, anything else you want to leave us with in terms of whether it be tips for buyers or sellers or anything that um, in your line of work you come across that you think would be great to, to pass along to, to people right now who are in the process of having to go through a home inspection? If you were selling, just go around the house or the home several times. Um, Keeping an eye out for things that you know is going to be flagged up, especially if you've got the experience of you had a home inspection when you bought that property originally or uh, or a previous property that you had a home inspection on uh, go back on your own old uh, home inspection report to get an idea of what to kind of look for and cover and then go around making sure that everything's in place uh, no house is perfect so nobody's looking for well some people are looking at perfection <laughs> Um, there's no such thing as a perfect home. So it's always good just to, like I say, go around, having a look at the outside, the inside, have a look at all the available plumbing. Um, so that definitely is a, a good thing to do for the, the sellers. As for the buyers, um, there may be certain things that uh, put off some buyers and won't put off others. So looking out for things like poly B pipe work, which is a, a dark gray plastic pipe that's um, had known to have issues in the past. Um, that was widely used to the late 90s. Um, so that's always a good one to look out for. You're great at what you do in terms of 
you know, pointing out all those things. If there's something that needs further investigation with, you know, a particular specialty, that's um, kind of your role, right? Is to point out those things if they need further review. So, and you, you do a great job of it. So thank you. You're, um, you know, a great guy and so um, patient and great at explaining um, things to, to my clients and I'm sure everyone else's. So thank you for that. And, Not and uh, I really appreciate you taking the time today to go through and answer my questions. Um, I'll be putting your contact um, information uh, below for people who like to reach out um, if they have um, any needs for questions or for your um, services for a home inspection. And hopefully we'll resume back to our spring market um, before we know it. Yep, fingers crossed. That's all we can do. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Ray. Um, I appreciate your time and uh, take care. You too. Take care. Bye.